We now return to Let's Play Shadowrun Hong Kong. What are we doing? We're talking to the Triad Soldier. The Triad Soldier. Apparently, we're going in there for some reason. Can I go pick up anything? Okay, good. This guy is still here. I still have a chance at, uh, at grabbing some things. Need to go back. See if there's some money for my pay data. See if I can't get a little something. Because we do have to refill my bag of grenades. Shadowlands! Claim payment. Hardly anything. Post pay data. Apparently, I should have some opportunity to pick that up later because otherwise what would the point of that be let's go see if nah we need to save it for actual combat stuff I can't go buying more stuff just for myself oh looks like this is dead great that's very not useful to me um, let's check my oh I've got more yeah, I'm, I'm low on just about everything right now. I can't really look at anyone else. Great. Well, karma. Let's spend some. Uh, let's see, I don't really need it in there. I could do a six. I could do a six, seven. Getting that up. What's unarmed? Increases chances of scoring critical hit when using punches or kicks. I could do that. I could do a 6, 7 here. Or I could boost up my physical resilience. Increases my hit points. Haven't really had to worry about that too much, though, to be honest. And chi casting attacks. That's probably a little bit better, I would think, but at the same time... This increases my ability to get, uh, yeah. Because if I get that, I can't get one of these. We just have too many. I can't really go into five on anything except quickness. Allowing me to dodge a little bit better, maybe. Well... I think I'll put six in there, and then seven in strength. Yeah. We'll do it that way. Okay. Oh. Shit, really? I only had two new yen left after I picked up my... Well, I must have had like twelve left. Okay, well, I don't have money for anything. That's unfortunate. Uh... Your tech... I mean, this was with the weapons import... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now I can go in there? I can go in there. Okay. Never mind. We'll buy grenades. That's what I need. Uh, I'm not going to talk to any of you. We need to get in here. Through the unnecessary double security door. Okay, just show me the goods. I don't have time for this. Consumables, grenades, Ares explosives. We're not going to be able to afford very many of those. Let's uh, let's lower my expectations. A couple cavalier grenades, phosphorus grenades. get a couple more of these. Uh, one more of those, apparently. Fine. I'll do it. Uh, oh, I do have two in stash, but I'm going to want to keep some of those, I have a feeling. So, uh, yeah, I will do that. I'll keep the rest of this for the team. Pass. Well, I'm actually gonna put put 
this one here. Although, what, I mean, what would, there's really no point in doing that, is there? We'll swap out for that, how about, okay. How much do I have left? 30? Is that enough to buy some drugs? Is that you or you? I don't remember. Must be Callum. Hook me up with nothing. It's all too expensive. No cheap drugs. Is Okay, I was going to say, is there no way out of here? Raymond. Raymond and Wu stand near each other in the rain, staring at the walled city, not talking. The old man looks at you, weary but alert. You look like you have something on your mind, Mr. Chan. Uh, there's a lot we don't know about you, isn't there? Of course, you saw the world, saw me, through a child's eyes. How much do we actually learn about our parents before they die? Well, today we learn that you're a genius who can create magical machines. We learn you have a rich, powerful mother on the ruling council of Hong Kong who kidnapped you to reprogram your brain. And we learn that the two of you are responsible for the suffering of thousands. Pretty big score from my perspective. Did I get everything, Bruce? He left out that he's risking his life to try and fix it. That's just it. He can't fix it. He wheels on Raymond, closes the gap between them. You realize you can't fix it, right, Edward? You can't erase 20 years of misery and suffering. The best you can hope for is to remove the unnatural part of it. Allow that horrible slum to be horrible without toxic chi, or whatever you said. You're not gonna push the make it all better button. We can stop it from getting worse. We can stop her. Oh, right. Let's not forget that at the end of this row, there's a demon goddess waiting for us. And I don't think she's gonna be too sweet on the idea of us closing the door on her. No, but I'll tell you one thing. I'm not gonna be like him. I'm not gonna run. Raymond cringes at that. He screws his eyes shut, trying to ward it off, but then he's still for a moment and his jaw sets. But when he opens them again, his eyes are defiant, authoritative. I did what I did to help people, Mr. Wu. And when I couldn't help them anymore, I left, and I continued helping people in Seattle, in that teen center, in that slum I took you from. Or did you forget where you were from? No, oh, I didn't forget, little man. How could I, with you reminding us of it every chance you get? Have you saved a poor little Chinese boy? He lowers his head until it's inches from the old man's, after you ran from the thousands who looked just like him. My motivations for helping you aren't relative, Duncan. He points a bony finger at Wu, runs it up and down the orc towering above him. Creepy. Look at you. The results are what counts. Wu doesn't pull back. He leaves his face a hair's breadth from his foster father. I know, Edward. Your motivations for building that machine aren't relevant here either. Wu cocks a thumb at the walled city, at the throngs running from it in terror. The results are what counts. Okay, boys. I think we've had enough family drama for today. You're right. He takes in the scene unfolding around him with grim determination. We need to do what we can do. Okay, Mr. Guard. Five people, all reeking of triad, huddled together next to your crew, muttering among themselves and pointing at the towering slum. One of them notices you and pats another on the chest with the back of his hand. It's the man who's been guarding the walled city entrance since you arrived in Heoi. He acknowledges you, a look of doomed determination on his face. Mrs. Cheng sends her regards. She told us to keep an eye out for you. What for? Mrs. Cheng wants to know what the hell is going on inside the walled city. She sent us to find out and report back to her. The triad soldier's hands shake. He sees you notice them and pulls them behind his back. She told us that if we saw you heading in there, we should go with you. We'd have a better chance of staying alive. Good. We need all the guns we can get. The soldier nods in appreciation. Just tell us what you need. This is our shot at distinguishing ourselves. Show Auntie that we have what it takes to rise in the organization. The soldier looks sidelong at his friends. It may be our best chance to provide for our families. The group of triads nod to each other in forlorn unity as they take in the panic around them. The storm, the flood of people, the towering tenement, and something else. 
a wave of something emanating from within. Do you feel that? Gobbit holds her stomach. Madness and folly squeak their disapproval. It's like the walled city's bad breath or something. She groans. It's disgusting. I feel, I don't know, unclean just looking at the place. Like life has no value or something. Like there's just no point to anything. That's the toxic chi. And it is exactly the point. We need to get rid of it. Fix it at the source, if I can. Raymond stares at the walled city, taking it in for the first time. The breath hitches in his chest, but the old man grits his teeth in grim determination. The fortune engine is located at the heart of the walled city. That's where I need to go. I'll drop a marker in the center of the walled city on everyone's PDA, Monk. We should be able to weave our way through it to the machine. Raymond, what's the best route to take? The old man shakes his head painfully. The gauze bandage covering his new data jack catches a flash of lightning. Twenty years since I stepped foot inside. Wasn't nearly this size then. No idea how to get there now, only where we need to go. We can take advantage of the chaos. It may cover our approach in case someone is trying to stop us. We should split up, keep Raymond back and out of harm's way. Look around, Gunsho. This whole place is in harm's way. <clears throat> It'll be safer if we split up. Monk leads some of us to clear the way to the machine. Ati's men can follow with the rest of us, escorting Raymond, once the way is secure. It's thin, but it's a plan. We improvise from there. Both teams, use your comm to stay in touch. We have no idea what we're going to face in there. I will be right behind you, Bruce. Take care of yourself. I hope you know what you're doing, Ray. I do, Mr. Chan. It's time for me to finally take action. No more cowardice. He exhales softly and stares at the walled city, unflinching. This is the end of prosperity. Who is gonna come with? Now, Ractor. What? Uh. Someone's not dead. Ractor wanted to come. Duncan definitely should come. Uh. Isabel knows the way, but uh, Gobbit has been useful lately. She's been very useful lately. Um, but on the other hand, we have uh, a grenade launcher, a man who can go through three different weapons, and uh, Ractor really isn't that useful anymore. But we can use his drone, I guess. I... Damn. I don't... Interesting. Okay, well... I think that's a bug, to be honest, because he's not supposed to be there. Um... Well, the thing is, though, if I mean, if we're going to be in the... the final confrontation, we're not going to get to use my vampire totem if I don't bring her. Should Ractor just go back? He wants to be here. Okay, fuck it. We'll take the, uh, we'll take the classic crew. Sorry, Ractor. He wanted to be there, but he can be there alongside, uh, alongside the other guys. Okay. City of Death. The typhoon pours down as the triad soldiers fan out in front of you, leading the way into Kowloon Walled City. Raymond shuffles along, alert and intent. Although exhausted by all that has gone on, he drives himself forward, it will not accept help from anyone. Wu watches the windows and rooftops, his rifle never leaving his shoulder. He occasionally risks a glance at his foster father, concern, frustration, and anger playing over his face like a slideshow. The walled city is worse than in your first visit. Even with the rain, you can feel something in the air. It's thicker now, and it clings to your skin like invisible filth. The miserable noises of slum life are gone, replaced by something worse. The sounds of death, the sounds of fear. As you round a corner, the group stops before heading in deeper. Okie dokie. Well, you get that. You... You get that one. Isabel's gonna need some help, I have a feeling. 
We'll give you a grenade. I can't apparently give you... She needs spellcasting six. Damn it. Okay, well that's why you're not getting those then. Uh, you can have a grenade too, how about? And then we'll give... Uh, we'll swap out for a better med kit here. And you can have that. And you can have that. Because I have a feeling you might need a little bit more than I do. Or I could swap out for an ad. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to leave you with that. You can't use the smart link, though. Only she can, so... How about we give you... Actually, you are doing pretty well with this. I think we'll give you both of those. And then you can have the mediocre shotgun. Yeah, it's too bad. Too bad, so sad. But uh, she, she, I think, had better options with the pistol. The smart link really only gave her the option of doing better. In which case we could have sold this. I'll hang on to it and sell it. <laughs> okay, looks good. The inner walled city. What you've seen in your dreams feels tame in comparison. The atmosphere is humid with the oppressive weight of despair. You can feel it bearing down on your shoulders, whispering for you to give up, lie down, await your miserable fate. Your skin feels oily and unclean. We're finally here, finally past. You look better, the trash heap that encrusts this place. He reaches out and touches a duraplast wall. The paint has long since chipped away, but what remains is enough to tell you that you're looking at the original exterior of Kowloon Walled City. It looks much sturdier than the ramshackle construction that has grown up around it. This is what Mother and I built, what was supposed to help people. All that we wanted was to help. Very poetic. Now let's move. I'm done with the talking. I don't want to spend a second longer in this place than I have to. The yellow Lotus 49er scans the horizon, his head on a swivel. He's full of frenetic energy that can only come from pure terror and combat stims. Raymond doesn't move. He stands there staring at a painted section of wall to his left. Tracing his gaze, you can see what he's looking at. It's faint, but it's there. A faded stamp of the Song Mechanical Services logo. Even this is a nightmare now. Decrepit and rotten and falling apart. He squeezes his eyes shut. It was supposed to be a good place. A safe place. Yeah, well, it isn't. And I'll... And we all know whose fault that is, don't we? Her eyes flash daggers at your adoptive father. She wears her hate like a mask. He looks down on her, expressionless. Yes, and that is why I have to fix it. Bruce, you need to clear me a path to the sarcophagus that surrounds the fortune engine. It will be at the center of all this. Please, please help me fix this. I can't do it by myself. That's the plan. He reaches a hand towards you, pulls it back with a pained expression. Thank you. Clear a path, my friend. I will travel with Cheng's people and keep your adoptive father safe. We will escort him via side streets until it is safe for us to regroup. Good luck, Ractor. To you as well. He smiles at Raymond, enthusiasm burning in his eyes. Come, Mr. Song. Let us see this machine you have built. Get him there safe. We need him. He glances back at you. Come on, monk, let's go. That's probably good. His immortal robot will keep us safe. Keep uh, keep Raymond safe. If we're supposed to lead the way, you guys kind of ran off without me. I uh, didn't see anything there, but there is somebody here. Yellow Lotus Soldier. Stop right there! Really? Guys? What? A group of Yellow Lotus 49ers is holding this entrance. Their leader, a dumpy female elf with chipped teeth and a bouffant hairdo, stumbles towards you. You! You drop your guns and get down on the floor! She shakes her head from side to side as if trying to clear it. A pair of bloodshot eyes roll in their sockets without reason or purpose. Drop everything, or we'll gut you like pigs. You're from the Lotus Den, aren't you? Strangler Bow is on my side. Bow? Bow? She gestures wildly with her rifle. A thin stream of blood traces its way from her left nostril down to her mouth. His time is done! Our new queen has shown us the way! Screaming unintelligibly, she launches herself at you. Her cohort follows behind, swinging their weapons wildly and howling for blood. 
What are you, are you in on this too? Apparently. Sniper. Great. Okay. Well, we know the drill. Uh, Gobbit, play support. Perhaps unfairly. Let's get you over here, though, so you can help out a little bit more. You, my friend, need to put your buffs on and go take care of that damn sniper, because that guy is going to hurt. Or lady, actually, is what it looked like to me. Um, how about we go do the... Okay, and then... Okay, well, that was a good start. Getting the cover. Uh, let's take out that sniper. Not good. Should have been using this one. We'll do it again. There we go. Okay. Isabel now. I really, really need to get you better <laughs> into better position. Um, unfortunately, there's not really any good cover here. You... Oh, yes, well, I do have grenades, don't I? Good, you just stay like that. Two can play at that game. She is bleeding pretty badly there, too. I'm gonna take down your armor. It's gonna sap you. We're gonna do the cheaty cheat, McCheaty cheat here. Get you into place. Knock him out. Okay. That frees you up. Actually, let's get Isabelle over here. Um, you know what? Let's just get you into range here so we definitely have a shot because I don't wanna screw around with this more than we have to. I like it. Can you actually get a shot from here? A little bit. A little bit. Spray and pray. Good. Again. Goody good. Come in here. A whack. Uh, you were supposed to make that. You were supposed to have hit. Because this is not good. Um, well, before we end here, you're only going to get six back, but six is six. You know what is... Oh, well, let's reload. Fine. You know what, let's conserve ammo. I actually want to make sure everyone is reloaded, because um, I think we go into the next combat the same way we already are. So, let's get over here. Okay, fine. Do that one. Or that one. Whatever. Don't register the click. That's fine. The team now has pretty good synergy, I would say. That's good. I'm glad that Monk has sort of come into his own since I began upgrading him. Uh, let's go explore some more. Because you never know. In Cantonese, give it now or you die. Ah, red pole. A lithe orc with a prominent jaw stands here, growling. Her neck tattoos mark her as a red pole in the yellow lotus, and the patches on her vest call her out as a resident of the lotus den. What you want to bet that's Bao's replacement. Looks like the type. A smaller, lankier man cowers before her, his hands clasped in supplication. A group of yellow lotus 49ers stand clustered around them, smirking, their weapons drawn. The triad ganger leans forward, puffing out her chest and flexing, her muscles bulge. You heard me, dog. You wanna live, you give me the shit. Otherwise, I'm gonna rip off your fingers and shove them down your throat. His eyes dart from ganger to ganger before coming back to rest on the red pole. Please, Song, I can't give you what you're looking for. There are plenty of people in the walled city who have a lot more to steal than I... She begins to stalk forward. With each step, she counts down. Five, four, three... He raises his hands, bows his head. Look, I don't want any trouble. I've got no quarrel with you, and I don't have any... She takes another step. Two. 
Attack the ganger. If I'm here to clean up the walled city, I might as well start with you. Because we're not going to bother with uh, diplomacy on this one. I like that their first... Oh my. Their first uh, inclination is to run for cover. There, there actually were quite a few of them. There were a lot more than I was actually expecting. Um, you... You know what, I think now's a good time to uh, pull out the rat. We need you to take care of that damn sniper behind me. Because I was not expecting to be surrounded the way we are. Only did 8 damage. Um, right, so you need this. You need... I wish these fucking things would register my goddamn clicks, because I'm really getting tired of this. Are you a mage or something? Are you... Oh, no, it's the guy? Okay, well good, that's one less we have to worry about. This is Song. Let's go pull one of these. Or not. No, that's a little bit better. Okay, you know what? I actually want you to uh, put a heal on because we took a bit of damage there. And then, uh, why don't you get into some cover? At least from here. Duncan is not in good cover. I really kind of want him to take out the mage. Who is standing right here. Damn! Okay. Um, well, can you actually... Shoot her. Shoot her! Then go stand where she was. Swap out to grenade launcher. Nice. Not so nice. Where the fuck are you going? You need to come back here. In a hurry. Was that an innocent or is this a... Who's... What's going on here? Medical vendor. Oh, did I totally almost bypass them? Let's not make that mistake. Okay. Duncan. Duncan only has one AP because of... There we go. That, that got rid of her. Good. Now, you... I think we can... Actually, let's use... Now, we still gotta worry about this one. So... Let's go in here. Um, I think you'll have a better... Gobbit will have a better chance here, so we need to do something with... This. You are not helping, Rat. Unfortunately, I also just kind of kind of stuffed myself in. Oh yeah, shotgun. This does not help me. Damn. Okay. I, um... Uh, I hope that's rain. Hold on a minute. Alright. Sounded like something was trying to climb in my window. It's just really windy out there. The last time it got this windy, trees were torn apart, so hopefully... I don't have to worry too much about that. Good. Here's another opportunity for you. I love this ability. This is amazing. Should have been using it the whole freaking time. It just makes it so much easier. Uh, can we get a better... 
It does bug out though. Can't tell at all that <laughs> he's got a. Oh, okay. They they do evaporate after a while. If I... There. Okay. The shaman nods his head in gratitude. Thank you for your help. You're a shaman? And you didn't do anything? But what are you doing in the walled city at a time like this? He looks you up and down, and his hand unconsciously rises to stroke his beard as he, his thoughts churn. Uh, I'm here on business. His eyes narrow. Suspicion obvious. I see. Do you know anything about what's happening to the city? Not much, just that things are bleak, and I'm doing my best to stay out of it. But there are song officers, triads, and residents everywhere. It's like swimming through people's soup. But I don't know why. I just know something big must be going on to warrant all this madness. Looks like you're packing quite a few items there. I'm looking to buy. Can I see what you got? Go ahead. At this point, they're mostly liabilities. You could help me out by lightening the load. I don't suppose I can... I can. I can only sell it for a thousand, though. That sucks. Okay, well, let's see what you've actually got. High-grade street armor. Can I give that to somebody? Got lots of med kits. Consumables was what I was concerned with, but... That's all. So, is this even worth getting? I don't think so. Alright, well, uh... We don't need to know much more about you. We've already got a location. And this was just a medical vendor... What are you, local grocer? Let's go see what you've got. A tall, well-groomed man with jet black hair leans casually against his fruit stand. His hard features suggest he hasn't smiled in a long time, but his demeanor isn't cold, only cautious. He appears less interested in watching his wares and more interested in watching people. The man sees you approach and speaks, his inflection smooth and careful, not at all like a fruit vendor's. Fresh fruit? You here to buy? You're a runner. I can tell by how you hold yourself. Young, Steel Drake, Ji Zhuang? Sure. He studiously observes his surroundings before returning his gaze to you. Name's Young, but people around here call me Steel Drake. I'm trying to stay on the down low, so I'd appreciate it if you keep your voice down. Let's not make our backgrounds public knowledge, alright? Why lay low? I just pulled a job, and I'm still under some heat. Got to clean the new yen and fence some of the gear I nabbed. Walled City is the best way to do that and stay out of sight. Fenced goods, huh? Let's set the produce aside and take a look at what you got. A moment. I only sell my best goods to like-minded individuals, and I believe you're deserving of such. He turns to his stand and with a click hits a hidden switch that what originally appeared to be a bin of apples, or a pile of oranges, now slowly slides up from the counter, revealing, just beneath the counter, a handful of guns, explosives, and other wicked gadgets. Just what I need. Let's have a look. He has got a ton of stuff. I don't even know what I'm looking for here. Ares, operative gear, that's only level 6. He's got more grenades. I could sell that thing and buy tons of grenades. I did kind of fit us all out, though, so... You know what? We're done here. Uh... Because we really don't have anything else. I mean, we're, we're pretty decked out. I'm satisfied with the gear that I've got. This is just last chance gulch, I guess. Oh, joy. You push your way forward through the piles of filth and through the narrow gaps between buildings, ducking under exposed sewage pipes and battered ductwork. Suddenly, you're through it and out the other side. A slender woman stands a few meters in front of you. An extravagant coat hangs over her delicate frame, the hood pulled low over her face. She's facing you, but you can't make out her features. Behind her, another woman approaches at a trot. She's wearing ballistic armor, and she has her weapon drawn. The insignia that's been emblazoned on her shoulder pad is familiar to you. Tsung. Hey, you there! She shouts at the hooded figure, her voice full of self-important pomp. You heard us. Clear the area and do it now. The inner blocks are off-limits to non-Tsung personnel. The hooded figure turns to face the approaching guard. My apologies, I got a bit lost. I'm not really familiar with this area. Her tone is silky smooth and perfectly even, almost hypnotic. It's... that's okay, but... She blinks, shakes her head to clear it, her jaw clenches, and you watch her eyes refocus. 
She shoulders her weapon. Don't you try that on me. You make one more sound, and I'm gonna... With a motion that's too quick to follow, the hooded figure lashes out. Grabbing the Tsong guard around the waist, she bats the startled woman's weapon away with her other hand, lunges forward and sinks her teeth into her neck. A spray of arterial blood fills the air, and the guard's body goes limp. The hooded figure lets the Tsong security officer's body crumple to the floor. She sweeps back her hood and dabs at her lips with her handkerchief. Feng, pleasure to see you again. The pleasure is all mine. You're right on time, by the way. She turns the square of embroidered fabric in her hand and continues to blot the blood off her lips. Apologies for the mess. It's like eating soup dumplings. The liquid winds up getting everywhere, no matter how careful you try to be. Um, shouldn't you be lording it over the Repulse Bay? That was what we helped you out for. I mean, I don't want to be rude, but why are you here? Why, I'm here to help you, of course, and to bask in the misery of the walled city. She shrugs, half smiling. It's quite intoxicating, you know, the poisonous energy of this place and of the being at the center of it all. I'm surprised you can't feel it yourself. I can feel it. Believe me, it's repulsive. She shrugs. Personally, I love it. The slow churn of toxic chi, the aura of doom and despair that clogs the arteries of the walled city. Maybe it's a vampire thing. Yet another advantage of being undead. Yeah, maybe. In any event, let's get down to business. I have a question for you. The thing that has arrived here, this Yama King, to use the local parlance, what are your intentions for it? What do you want me to do? She smiles sweetly. What I want is an honest answer. If I wanted to hear my own thoughts fed back to me, I'd ask one of my thralls. Goodness knows I have enough of them back at the Repulse Bay. So let's try this again. What do you intend to do with the Yama King, or Queen, I suppose, and the machine that brought her here? I'm gonna send it back to the hell that it crawled out of. Very good. In that case, I will help you. The energies that your Yama King secretes are quite delicious. I can only imagine they will become more so at the moment of her death. That's how it works with blood. Why would this be any different? Uh... So does this mean she'll come with me, or do I have to swap her out? Could I... Could I actually have five people? I'm tempted. So let's see. I'd be honored to have you fight by my side. Great, sure, why not? Let's bring the bipedal leech on board. What's the worst that could happen? We've already got Gaichu on the team. Apparently we don't. I'm asking her because we need the help. It's going to get thick out there, and you know it. She claps her hands together, smiling. Very good. This is going to be fun. Do I actually have... Five now? Okay, that works for me. Uh... <laughs> Oh, great, the camera's doing funky shit again. I can't zoom in. Okay, well, anyway, it's time to end the episode as it is, so we'll go deal with whatever this stuff is next time. <laughs>